Welcome to the visionarywoman.com. We particularly today have lost decency, respect, love for each other. For some reason we we lost we lost that sense that you know we're all in this together we need to love each other that our morals are grounding us that we have ethics um which is a word you don't hear much in government anymore um and and i wouldn't say this is the exact this is the only reason but i think the rise of the internet which has has created a um an impersonal relationship between people and made it easy for people to say negative things to people and kind of hide behind the screen not associate with people in person but but you know do it on the computer i mean you, we we have to kind of come together as people um and relate to people as people and get out from behind the computer screen and i mean but, but we have so much of it so it's like it's like we we are inundated by this today and it's even where we're getting our information alternative news and and, and all this which you know everybody feels differently about it but we can now selectively choose what we want to hear from behind the TV screen or the computer screen so i think that all of this has contributed to this lack of humanity in people that has, that is going on um a lack of um uh, understanding that we are all humans in this together and that everybody has different viewpoints you might have a viewpoint and somebody else may have a viewpoint but we can come together on common ground i i i look at politics i look at politics today and when did communication break down between two political parties when are they not able to sit down and say listen you want this i want this let's try to compromise and come up with something now they don't even talk to each other or they they shut each other down and i i i wonder when this happens so that what's happening in politics is just the tip of the iceberg of what's happening in society where did it start i think the internet has a lot to do with it um and i think the struggle for women to succeed and kind of put on a mask so that they could go be successful is another part of it for women you know that they have to be have to look a certain way they have to dress a certain way and they have to act a certain way in order to become successful and there is still a glass ceiling we know that i mean yeah. there there is absolutely a glass ceiling and so you know people who deny that or say that's not the case um it that's that's just not true and it's not an alternative fact i can tell you that <laughs> it, it's been a slow gradual kind of i want to say decline of of our government and our society and and i think that one of the issues has been complacency so how complacent we've all been for so long you know the government's working the government does its job and we're kind of at home and we're in our offices and we're working and we're raising our families or living our lives and and the government does what they need to do and we need we're doing what we need to do and and never the two would meet but now what we're seeing is that you can't have complacency right you can't you can't sit back and say oh well okay i'm going to do my thing and the government's going to do its thing so for so long we've been so complacent and we haven't spoken up and what is happening today is partially a result of complacency so what you're seeing now is that people are starting to stand up and speak out they're being true to this person that they see on the inside in the mirror right that i believe in this and now i'm going to do something about it i believe in this so i'm going to take you know my i take a bus to washington dc and i'm going to march and i believe in this so i'm going to write letters to my senators i believe in this so i'm going to run for office so many women have started to get the idea to run for office as a result of what's been going on in the government because they realize hey i can make a change um i don't have to sit in my life and then watch government you know kind of through a computer screen i can do something too and that's been a great thing that's come out of it so if you look at the positives you know what you're seeing now is a movement of men and women but really led by women saying that i want to see change in our society for myself for my family for my kids for future generations and and they're standing up and speaking out and being heard and let's look at the positive of this and see all the people getting involved and uh, running for office and doing things around their communities and doing things in their states and uh, uh 
letting people hear their roar, so, so to speak. You know, we, I am woman, hear me roar. It's, I think, among women today, particularly among women who have families and who have kind of gotten over the career, um, you know, moving ahead in their career phase of their life and, and saying like, where do I go now? And it's about speaking out and making a difference in the areas of lives where we think we can have an impact. Every single person has to do their part to fix it. Um, so we have to look at ourselves in the mirror and we have to get the courage that we do have inside, every single one of us has it inside of us, to speak out against the things that we know in our hearts are not right. So we have to do that for, uh, for ourselves, for our communities, and for what's going on in our government today. Because what is going on today in terms of discriminating against people because of their religion, because of their sexual orientation, because of their sexual identity, whatever it is, our country of origin, we are, that's not who we are as Americans, right? So that's not the foundation of what America was based on. Um, and we have to look at what's going on and say, you know, this is not okay. We can agree to disagree on certain things, but we have to build our house back up in this country so that we can have a strong foundation, we can have a strong home, we can have a strong community, and we can have a strong earth and planet for future generations. That has to happen. And we have to get out of our complacent, comfortable places right now, and we have to do something about it. TheVisionaryWoman.com Watch our host of insightful video exchange interviews. Listen to the Visionary Woman Hotspot Talk Radio to empower your evenings and read fascinating articles of inspiration and perseverance, all with you in mind. Visit us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.